Here is the Corsair K95 keyboard. This is a mechanical gaming keyboard with cherry red MX um, mechanical switches. So if I pop a key off, you can see it's red inside. And I'll turn the light off to make it a little bit easier to see. This is, um, well, it was the premier keyboard from Corsair. Um, the Corsair K95 RGB has come out when, and the difference is that the K95 has um, a red, green, blue backlight so you can customize every single um, key to your heart's content. It can be any color, any pattern, and it even supports animations. Um, I hear the software for it is kind of buggy, so right now um, perhaps the original K95 is a better option. The type and feel on this keyboard is fantastic, and the cherry reds are not the loudest keys in the world, but they're also not the quietest. Um, so this keyboard does not have O-rings in it, and if I type something in like the quick, quick, if I can actually type, quick red fox jumped over the brown dog, and that's probably the wrong saying by just typing something. You can hear the approximate volume of these keys. It would drive your coworkers nuts if you had one of these in a cube. For him use, it's actually pretty decent and um, it's nothing like the blues. However, compared to a membrane keyboard, it is quite loud. Now, while the feel and the build quality of this keyboard feels fantastic, that's about where all the good stuff ends. So if I turn on the light here, you might notice that a few keys are out and I'll kind of point them out for you real quick because the lighting here kind of makes it a little bit harder to see. Um, there's a five right here that's out, the P is out, the nine is out, the less than slash comma is out, the backslash is out, the alt key over here is out, and there might be more. Um, Corsair claims that the static electricity generated from typing was burning out the LEDs. I don't think that is true, um, and I'll tell you why, because on this particular keyboard, the lights have only ever burnt out in between the lights being turned off or the computer being off. I've never had the lights actually go out while the backlight is up. So if I leave this up for weeks at a time, all the keys will stay exactly as they are. If I turn it off overnight and I turn it back on in the morning, like 90% of the time it's in the key out. It's really, really bad. So, um, because of that alone, I can't recommend this keyboard. Their customer service is pretty bad, and um, we've been trying to get them to upgrade this K95 to the RGB model for us, and they won't do it. You have to pay return shipping to them, and then they'll ship you another keyboard out. It might be a refurb keyboard or a new keyboard at their option, but then you're gonna have the same problem because this is a problem inherent to this product. It is a defect, and a replacement really isn't enough at this point. It needs to be a revised model to actually fix this problem. And that's what the RGB was supposed to be, and that's why we want the RGB as a replacement, but they won't give it to us, and that's really, really annoying. Um, aside from that, um, the actual keyboard body here is metal, and it feels really nice. The G keys over here, um, it's like an add-on. This little piece, if you can see it, is plastic and it's not metal, it doesn't match the rest of the keyboard. It's like an afterthought. So if you get the K70, the K70 is actually probably um, a nicer feeling keyboard than the K95. Um, other than that, everything, I mean, the sleeving is very nice quality. The volume key here is really nice. Um, it has some really cool features in terms of being able to set patterns for the backlight. And they're tied to your memory keys over here. So you can see the different patterns that will light up. I generally just leave all of the uh, keys lit up all at once. Um, it has media keys up here. They don't stick up quite as far as the rest of the keys and that kind of annoys me. I wish they were um, raised up. But once you use a mechanical keyboard, you will never want to go back. Um, I have a Logitech G110 sitting over here. It's very dusty and kind of dirty. It's my regular keyboard. This has been a fantastic keyboard. It's also backlit. It's currently not plugged in because the K95 is taking up my available USB ports. Um, this has a nice, it's sort of like pseudo customizable backlighting. It has um, red lights and then it also has blue lights. So you can get anything in between. 
Um, I generally leave it set to full red, which looks a little bit orange to me. And um, it's about the brightest, I think, it, that's the brightest color. Um, the backlight on this looks good when you're looking at it straight down, but from the normal position on the key, um, when you're looking at it, when you're typing, it's kind of dim. Um, the blue is hardly visible at all, to be perfectly honest, and um, it doesn't really offer that much, much customization. The purple that you get in between, again, is very dim. However, the backlights have not burnt out on this. It feels pretty decent for a membrane keyboard, but it's nothing like the um, K95. The media keys on this are much better in my opinion. The volume um, scroll wheel here feels a lot cheaper, um, but it's also a much cheaper keyboard. I think this keyboard was $50. Um, this keyboard here I think was 120 and that was on sale. And for $120, I would really expect be better customer support. Again, Logitech, um, this is a G700S mouse. I had a G700 before this. The G700 um, developed a bad um, push button on the um, right, sorry, left click um, button right here. So when I was in first person shooters, I would go to click and it wouldn't fire correctly sometimes. I don't know why. Um, I contacted Logitech about two years in and they immediately shipped out a brand new G700S, the upgraded new model free of charge, didn't even request the other mouse back. And um, simply because of that, I would recommend going with Logitech. Logitech has a brand new keyboard coming out also with RGB backlighting, um, and it will have mechanical switches. They are completely unique to the Logitech model, but that is the one to go for right now because the K95, I just can't recommend um, any Corsair products at the moment just because of their lousy customer support and the problems that they've been having. Um, which is a real shame because if the lights didn't burn out on this keyboard, it's a fantastic product. But with the uh, issues they've been having, you know, I just can't recommend it. Anyway, this is RJ Nunnally, um reporting for Hexound.com. This is actually Jared's keyboard. I'm borrowing it to do a review and to do the video. And as you can see here, um, and as soon as I'm done with this, it's getting shipped off to Corsair. We're getting a new one back and we're probably gonna sell it because um, the Logitech is the next keyboard for Jared in all likelihood. We just can't have this nonsense with the lights burning out. It totally ruins the character of the keyboard. And actually I'll go ahead and unplug my lighting up here and you'll see the uh, keys burnt out. So you can probably see this a little bit better now. The nine is out, the P is out, the B is out. The alt key, the left alt key over here is out. This less than symbol is out, the backslash is out, and the five is out. <laughs> it's pretty bad. And you might have noticed that I was posting pictures on Twitter earlier trying to get um, Corsair's attention on this to get them to upgrade us to a K95 RGB. They haven't responded at all. It turns out their uh, triple B, the Better Business Bureau rating for them, is an F. It's as, as low as you can possibly get. And they just don't care. <laughs> and when I was submitting these pictures, the initial pictures I took of this keyboard actually had less lights out on it. In the period of time I've been using this keyboard, which at this point is about two weeks, I've had new, the uh, B and the Alt key burn out since then. Um, and when I got it, the only key that was actually out for Jared was the P. So all the rest of the keys have burnt out since then, and that's just from unplugging the keyboard and plugging it back in and turning the lights on and off. Jared always left the backlights on on this keyboard, and the moment he turned it off and turned it back on, that's when the P went out. So it's not like this keyboard's been abused, it's been very lightly used. Very, very lightly used. And Jared's a bit of a perfectionist, he's better than I am. So. For this keyboard to have this number of issues is just ridiculous and unacceptable. All right, well, I hope this helps uh, influence your buying decisions. Buy a quality product. I highly recommend um, a mechanical keyboard, just not one from Corsair.